hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I promised I would show you how to do the orange and lemon peel. So that's what we'll be doing today. Now you can certainly just buy these at the store, especially at Christmas time. They have all the traditional fruitcake ingredients readily available, but during other times of the year, they might be a little bit harder to find. So this is how you can make them from scratch. The easiest thing to do is cut off both ends and make a nice flat surface. And then I just slice off the peel, which is the orange part. The white part is called the pith and it can be kind of bitter. The outer part of any citrus is where the oils are and that's the part that's got a ton of flavor. We're just gonna go all the way around just like this and then you can cut off any little orange bits you still see if you want. Do that for all of your oranges and then we're gonna do the same thing for our lemons. What we're doing is we're gonna boil these peels in a simple syrup. So add equal parts of water and sugar to a saucepan. I'm going to throw in my lemon and orange peel. That was probably way too much liquid for the amount of fruit that I have, but that's okay. The peel mixture is going to boil for about 45 minutes or until the peels are soft and you're going to move them when they're done to a baking sheet and you're going to put a layer of sugar. That was just about a cup. Once your peels are completely softened, transfer them to your tray of sugar, making sure to spread them out as best you can. Then we're gonna top them with a little more sugar. I actually used way too much sugar here, but after I was finished, I had some nice citrus flavored sugar for drinks. Once you've got that all on there, mix it around with whatever utensil you like and make sure that they're all coated really well. Leave them out somewhere they can dry for at least a couple of days. Once they're completely dry, you can store them if you're not gonna use them right away in an airtight container for up to a month in the refrigerator or up to three months in the freezer. However, this particular batch is destined for the fruit mix going into my wedding cake. If you haven't seen that video already, feel free to check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!